Welcome to another edition of Hustlers Kung Fu. Today we're going to talk about Big Mama making a comeback. That's right. Your Big Mama is about to be back in style and I'm about to outlay a few reasons why that's going to happen. And it's going to be very interesting. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is get 30 days to 2500 and also get the Hustlers Mindset pimping your mind for success. These two tools will help you make more money and strengthen your mindset. All right, so let's get into it. First of all, we're going to talk about a large segment of America, and this is the social lower economic class. And what's about to happen? You know, Big Mama, right? You know, she was married to your grandfather. Grandfather passed away. She got this big old house that's paid off. She living by herself. Maybe she's got a Yorkie or a little dog or a few cats. Guess what? Big Mama about to have some company. It's about to be the Waltons up in here. Because as people slide, because see, there's going to be a few people who are going to slide up. But there's a lot of people who are going to slide down. And these people are going to find it really hard because this was happening before the pandemic. So Big Mama is going to get a knock on the door. Hey, Big Mama, what's going on? It's going to be Jenny and the kids. It's going to be Ed and his crazy ex-wife. You about to see the Waltons revisited. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. This, this is all. You're going to have three generations under one house. You're going to have Big Mama. You're going to have her kids. And they're going to have their kids. This is about to start cracking across the country. You're about to start seeing this all over America. And I'm going to tell you why. One of the reasons that you're going to see it is with the V-shaped recovery myth is that people are going to start falling off. And we're going to explain to you why people are falling off. People have not made making money a priority. No. Like right now, I'm giving 30 days to 2,500 away. A lot of people are signed up for it. Ah, Glendon, hey, man, you know, I'm good. I'm gonna sit here with on my government stimulus check. I don't really wanna make money. Making money is a mindset that most of America doesn't have. And also I'm gonna do a video on Savage Finance, Savage Finance talking about your money beliefs and how they cripple you. Look for that, that should be dropping Wednesday. So one of the things that you need to understand is so many people are caught in these social bubbles. People who go in and out of jail, a lot of their friends also go in and out of jail. See, there, there are levels to this. And see that this big level, and this is something I had witnessed before the pandemic of people who were economically fragile and they needed to move in with Big Mama. Because see, the classes are so different. Let's take the Big Mama class. Big Mama class, work hard, buy one house, get that house paid off, tuck away the pennies. That was the Big Mama class. That was her generation. And that's why she has a house that all of y'all can stay up in. And the house may not be the best house, it may not be the biggest house, but it's a house it's paid for and it provides shelter. So big mamas across America, get ready for that knock because they coming. They are coming. They're coming with their sad stories. They're coming with their broken dreams. They be coming. And you're going to, and this, this is, now this is, was started before the pandemic. And the pandemic is just going to accelerate this. Right now, there are people in transition. There are married couples in transition. Husband lost a job, wife lost a job. They got two little kids, little Joey, little Becky. And they're like, we can't stay here anymore. And if you in Houston, <laughs> they evicting folks. Like I said, that temporary reprieve, cause see, here's something else. America's really unforgiving if you're not about your business. Like right now, all of these people who are unemployed, everyone feels sorry for them. Everyone's like, got like, man, that's just terrible. But the longer this goes on, that sympathy will turn to hostility. Why don't you ain't working? Why don't you go find a job? 
the Brads and the Beckys about to be moving in with Big Mama and Brad's going to be working at Walmart, Costco, Target. Becky's going to be doing some homeschooling and they're going to be taking care of Big Mama and Big Mama's going to be taking care of them. You're going to see this massive shift to this. You're going to like look up and if you live in the house in a neighborhood with Big Mamas or elderly couples who live by themselves, get ready to see some extra cars in the driveway because it's coming. They're going to be coming because <clears throat> they're going to need help. They're not able to make it on their own. They're not able to do well on their own. And part of this is, and we're, you know, like I said, I'm gonna do this on Savage Finance because this is a really important video. People have erroneous beliefs about money. And this is why poor people who win the lottery often end up in a worse situation than before they end the lottery because they don't understand the concept of money. And we have a huge segment of America. Like I got a video on Savage Finance talking about how to pay off debt. And one of the things is that these early videos on Savage Finance are not gonna be sexy. It's not, well, here's a way that if you hardly make any money that you could get a very high credit limit or you could pay off your debt. Well, I'm not selling those kind of fantasies. Uh, you, you, you grown, you grown. I, I should be able to tell you the truth and you should be able to accept the truth that if you have low income and high debt, you're going to be on, you go, it's going to be rough. And this is what the Brads and the Beckys are finding out. And this is why they're getting ready to move up in big mama's house. And you know, and it's going to be rocky because big mama is used to her own space. Big mama, and she used to nothing but the little dog and the little cat. And all of a sudden, she gonna have these folks up in her house and these folks are gonna move in and these, cause these folks are adults. They want adult privileges even though they put themselves in the position to be treated like a child. You need big mama to provide you shelter, but you grown and you wanna do grown folks things except you they ain't supporting yourself. So there's gonna be a little friction in some of these houses. Big mama gonna be like, Look, you and them badass kids need to get out my house. It's going to be that. And then they're going to break up and then they're going to get back together. Because see, after a while, Big Mama's going to get used to having them up in their house. Because see, this is something I knew as a child that older, older people get lonely. I used to go visit the elderly as a kid and it was always easy to get in. And it's like, well, Miss Jones, I'm about to go. And she would get up and follow me down the hallway and follow me to the kitchen. And she'd be talking to me and I'd be like halfway out the driveway and I'm like, you'll be talking to me because the old, old elderly get lonely. So once they start getting some company and, and in turn, this is going to be a good thing for big mama's mental health. And it's going to be good for their mental health that they're going to start forming stronger bonds of family. This is something that has disappeared in many parts of America. It's still strong in certain sectors of America, but it's about to reemerge because you, it's gonna be the Waltons. It's gonna be the Waltons. And if Papa, Big Mama and Papa, Papa's still alive, it's about to get hilarious. Cause see, if you ever notice something about old people, they have no filter. They get a certain age, they just don't give a damn anymore. So it's gonna be some funny stories that are gonna come from these blended families. It's going to be crazy because see, Papa going to be talking some junk. Papa going to be speaking his mind. It's like, my name is James G. Carter and this is my house. I do what I want in my house. I say what I want in my house. So there, there's going to be those conversations, but it's about to be on and popping because there are so many people who are in an economically fragile situation because of life choices that they made like having a kid and not being married. This is one of the biggest reasons that so many people are gonna be moving in with Big Mama. It's gonna be Bebe and her kids moving in with Big Mama. My experience, except my mom never left the house. My mom never went out on her own. So one of the reasons that I had stability as a child, I never went to daycare, is because of my grandmother, AKA Big Mama. She taught me how to read. My grandmother was a school teacher, so she taught me how to read, she taught me a lot of stuff. And even though I'm dyslexic, 
because I learned how to read before I went to school, I never got behind. And I can't tell you what a blessing that was. Because see, when you're a little kid and you get to an adult, but when you get older and you can look back and you'd be like, oh my God, that was great. That was the best thing ever. I never went to daycare. Like none of my friends ever went to daycare because there was always a big mama around, an auntie around, and the neighborhood was stronger and the community was stronger. So you're about to see communities get stronger because they need each other. They're gonna be leaning on each other because they're gonna need each other. So the big mamas of America, get ready. They coming, they are coming. And hopefully y'all can work all of this out because one of the things that so many people fail to understand and appreciate is forming networks and bonds because as america if you got enough money you can do what you want live how you want you don't, you don't need nobody but if you don't have any money mm, mm, mm. big mama hey how you doing you know uh brad and i we we've been suffering um we want to ask you a really really big favor big mama what do you want baby what do you need if big mama can do it for you i do it for you well we want to move in with you temporarily that's how it's gonna go it's gonna be it's gonna be i want to move in with you temporarily temporarily and they'll be there for 10 15 20 years because luxuries once tasted become necessities but you're about to start seeing all of this drop very very quickly very very quickly so that's all I got for you guys right now. So go below, get 30 days to 2,500, get the pimp it, Hustler's Mindset, Pimp Your Mind for Success, and don't just download it because it's free. Actually do the course and start making some money or you're going to be living with Big Mama. And that may not be a bad thing. Who's to say? There's another video right here. Check it out.